What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm unboxing the brand new 5th generation M1 Apple iPad Pro. I've been a huge iPad fan for years, in fact I unboxed last year's iPad Pro on this channel, if you guys would like to check that out, there's a link at the top of the screen. Not exactly sure why you guys would want to watch that video over this video, because this is a new one, unless maybe you guys want to see if that version is worth getting on sale versus this version. I don't know, but if you guys wanna watch it, link up there. I do have to say though, I am very, very excited about this brand new iPad because I've heard so many good things about it. One, because it's got the M1 chip, it's significantly faster. And two, because the 12.9 inch version has the mini LED screen, which is sick. Before we dive into the unboxing though, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell down below if you haven't yet. And also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler. Not only that, because this is my second channel, my tech channel. If you guys would like to check out my main channel, my sneaker channel, there will be a link in the description below. However, most of you are probably from the sneaker channel, and if you're not, you might not care about sneakers. Whatever, I'm rambling at this point. Enough with the shameless self-promotion. Let's dive into this unboxing. So this is obviously the larger 12.9 inch edition. I bought the 256 gigabyte version, which I believe retailed for $11.99. Definitely not a cheap uh, a cheap thing at all. I mean, this thing is pretty much the same price as some pretty decent laptops out there. But the reason I picked this up instead of like another laptop is because I really love the fact that you can draw on the screen of this iPad. I have an Apple Pencil, the second generation. I draw on the iPad all the time. And I wanted to test out the new power of this thing. I wanted to find out if this is something that can replace my MacBook Pro. I don't think it will be because I edit and do a lot of work on there that just can't be done on this iPad. And it's not because this isn't powerful enough, it's because iOS is not uh, capable enough to handle things like PDF editing, so um, there's that. But with all that said, let's take a quick look at the box before we actually dive into the unboxing itself. On the front of the box, you've got this beautiful full-sized image of the iPad Pro with this new uh, iPad desktop, which I'm assuming is there to show off the, uh, the mini LED capabilities. You've got the Apple logo on the top, you've got iPad Pro written on either side of the box, and then on the bottom, you've got another Apple logo. Of course, on the back, you've got the specs of the device. This is the 256 gigabyte version. I went Wi-Fi, because I'm not gonna use this with 5G. I can just use the hotspot on my phone if I really need to. And uh, it's the 12.9 inch version, fifth generation, all that sort of good stuff. So why don't we just dive into this and see what we've got inside? I think I know, I'm pretty sure it's an iPad, but if it's not, that'd be actually a pretty big surprise. Man, I love the finishes on these boxes. They always use this like really beautiful semi-gloss uh, cardboard, I guess is what it is. And then they print this gorgeous high-res image on the front. I love it. Let's uh, slide the box open. There you go. You gotta get your fingernails underneath it. There we go. Oof, look at that. That is a sexy thing. Wow. You can't really see much, but uh, hey, you know what? You know what's in there. <laughs> so that's all that matters. So inside the box, you've got your Design by Apple in California um, packet. Welcome packet, I guess is what it is. Uh, inside that, I'm assuming you've got the, the manuals, iPad Pro, quick start guide probably. That's what it looks like. And then you've also got your uh, health and safety guidelines, I'm assuming. Hopefully some Apple stickers, let's see. Yep, your Apple stickers right there. Very nice. I'm never ever gonna use this. I usually just save the box and save all the manuals in the box. Um, and then whenever I sell the device, like when I upgrade to the next one, I just have like a pretty mint condition box. <laughs> Cause I have all these charging cables already, but whatever. Okay, so you've got your, uh, your wall charging guy right here. I believe this is the 20 watt guy. And then you've also got your USB-C to USB-C. And something that's really cool about this brand new iPad is that apparently it's now not only USB-C, it's also Thunderbolt, which is really great obviously for displays. But uh, that's what you get inside the box. Honestly, pretty much standard fare when it comes to iPads. Um, iPads really just kind of keep it simple. So do iPhones. At least the iPads still include the charger, which is nice. <laughs> so let's put the box away and let's see the iPad itself, which is the thing I think we're almost excited to see. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna use this really nice pull tab right here. Oof, look at that space gray. I went with the space gray, obviously. Very, very nice. I'll just pull it out like this. I hate touching the screen with my bare fingers because my fingers are gross. The screen is pretty and not gross. It smells nice. It smells like, um, what does it smell like? Maple syrup? I unboxed the new M1 iMax yesterday. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, make sure to click the link at the top of the screen. But the reason I bring that up is because that computer smelled like mangoes, which is again, weird. I don't know why all these new Apple products smell like food. Maybe there's something wrong with my nose. Because I show my wife and she's like, it smells like cardboard. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty nice looking thing. It looks very, very similar to last year's iPad Pro, if not almost identical. It's slightly heavier. 
and apparently it's slightly thicker. Unfortunately, I no longer have last year's version, so I can't compare sizes because in preparation for this iPad, I sold my old one. <laughs> but um, gorgeous, very, very nice. I love a clean, brand new screen with no fingerprints on it. That's the best. On the back of the iPad, you've got your anodized aluminum, which is what I believe that this material is. You've got your shiny black Apple logo right there. You've got your uh, three pin connector. You've got your iPad text. You've also got your, uh, your dual camera setup with the LiDAR sensor. One thing I don't like about the iPads or at least the iPad Pros is how the camera kind of extends out the back. It makes sense on the iPhones because you want the nicer camera. I have never once taken a picture on my iPad and I probably never will um, other than for a review. And I just feel like I don't I don't need it. Like I don't need a nice camera. Just give me a basic camera, if anything. I just want it to be flush. I don't know. I guess there's people out there who do take pictures on their iPads. In fact, you know, if you go to Disney World, everyone's taking pictures with their iPads, so <laughs> I guess there is a market for it. At the top of the device, you've got your Wi-Fi antenna, which is a slightly darker line running across the, uh, the top of the device. And also, it's not on the bottom actually, but it's just on the top, okay. And then on the sides, you've got your uh, connector to charge your Apple Pencil, which I'll grab in a little bit. You've got your volume up and down. You've got your power button on the top. You've got some speakers on the top, two speaker grills, as well as speakers in the bottom, and your USB-C lightning port right there. And then I believe on the top, you've also got these microphones right there and around the camera. But video calling on this iPad is really cool because apparently it follows you. Obviously not like that Amazon Echo that we looked at a couple weeks ago that literally has a motor inside and follows you. This one does it through software and AI, which is super cool. Follows whoever's talking, which I think is awesome. But uh, yeah, very cool, very clean looking device. Let's turn it on and see how it looks. I really, really want to see this brand new screen. I can't wait. Look at that. Beautiful new tech. I love it. Ah, I love it. So in addition to this new iPad having the M1 chip, which makes it honestly as powerful as a lot of different laptops out there, especially things like the, uh, the MacBook Air, it also has a, I believe, standard eight gigs of RAM. The more expensive version of this iPad, the one terabyte and two terabyte version, I believe comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is kind of nuts. Um, I don't see myself ever using that much RAM on an iPad. You never know. Okay, so another reason this iPad's a little bit thicker is because of that new mini LED screen. But I mean, it's it's apparently like half a millimeter. I don't know if it'll fit in my old iPad case because I did save that just in case. Okay, so while this is setting up, we'll talk about more of the specs. I believe that this does have a slightly larger battery. Now that might be to accommodate the screen. I don't know if that's gonna give it any better um, battery life. Look at that, all set up. Of course, like most new Apple devices, this iPad has a true tone display, which adjusts the color temperature depending on the kind of environment that you're in. It's also got the ProMotion display, which means it's gonna look a little bit smoother when you're swiping back and forth. Apparently it's got a 2737, by 2048 pixel resolution with uh, 264 PPI, which is pretty nice. Very, very high resolution, love it. I really wanna see this mini LED technology in action. And the one way that I think that I'm seeing it is that the blacks do look very, very close to black. So let's go to YouTube really quickly. I want to see um, how this performs with YouTube videos. Obviously it's not gonna be full resolution. I mean, I don't film in full resolution, I use 4K. So let's go to Seth Fowler, my sneaker channel, pull up a video. <laughs> Of course, you got an Apple commercial. Nice. I cannot believe I finally have these. What does he have? Sneakers, up, probably. Everybody? I mean, without having the old iPad next to it to compare, it looks great. I would guess that it's better, uh, but I don't know for sure. I've got to take other people's word for it at this point. But speed-wise, this is supposed to blow away the competition. I mean, be significantly, significantly faster. So if you're doing things that require a lot of speed, like Photoshop or um, you know video editing, things like that, this should work better for you, or gaming. But for me personally, this is something I just kind of browse the internet on, so I don't really need the faster thing. And if that's you, honestly, I think you might be okay going with a lower-end iPad or maybe an iPad that, um, is a little bit cheaper because it's a little bit older. Now the reason that I picked the larger iPad Pro, like I said before, is because I want to sketch on it and I want to be able to draw on it. So that's the reason I went with the larger size. If I was just going off my own personal use case, I would probably be fine going with the standard iPad. Um, maybe not even an iPad Pro. But uh, no, I love it. I'm very, very into it. I think it's a beautiful looking device. If you guys would like to see a full review of this iPad, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Also let me know if you're planning to pick up one of these iPads for yourself. But uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.